Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ New and Updated Mods around now for Farm Sim 22. In total, we got 29 mods today. Goodness gracious. No mods yesterday, 29 today. For all platforms, 8 new and 15 updates. And PC Mac players got 2 new and 4 updates. In this video, we'll take a look at all the new ones, plus customization, and review all the mods that got an update. And there's a lot of them. Timestamps are linked below. Let's do it. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have Lizard18310 Truck. This is from Talon and Agro Mods. Very cool cool truck uh, 320 horsepower we have variable transmission 300 liters fuel 49 miles an hour wheel brands uh no names just a uh, picture so you could make the front one uh, black and then a couple other ones so kind of neat through there uh continental tire setup we also have the cross track the off-road and then back into standard looks like the only ones that are going to change are on the back so heads up there exhaust we have that on the right side or left side bumpers going to be low or off-road that's kind of cool airfoil basically yes no or competitive competitive complete this is not a race truck secondary lights we have plus 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 no okay so there's just going to be on the very front uh radio antenna we have right left both or neither they are bigger than the truck itself i uh, mean colors we've got all of them absolutely all of them you can go with a nice pink there or or green Ooh, <laughs> that does not look great uh how about we just go back to the standard color yeah there we go that looks good uh design color this is going to be another setup at the very bottom there and then rim colors of course are rim colors we've got all kinds of stuff for you guys through there as for the truck itself we do have i think one thing we could do here we can raise and lower the front and boy that is just sitting on it isn't it goodness we're going to raise that thing back up i think it starts all the way up yeah it does it starts all the way up uh take a look that is literally the only thing that we could change uh and it is fairly quick off the line as well not the slowest thing in the world of course doesn't have a lot of power either but you know what it's not bad next is the rob mke 400 rubber i don't know how to say that uh this is a power hero for you guys 600 kilogram weight 95 horsepower four meters at nine miles an hour design uh is yes or no this puts an extra three point hitch on the back doesn't look like pto goes through but uh hey you never know next is the lizard rmtb2-12 this is supposed to be lizard version of their matiba mods that came out today as well we'll talk about those for pc in a little while Fifteen thousand liter capacity we could drop that 8500 and we could even make it a bell trailer if you want wheel options we have standard and wide tires and we could do a spare wheel if you really want to that's about it next we got the self-made wooden trailer now this is kind of neat so starting off we have a 1400 liter capacity they say the coffin version we could do the nobody trailer which works really well with logs or we could do an open coffin which also works really good with logs we could do the built-in front and then back to the tipper version again we'll set up so we've got quite a few different ones here where the fronts are just a little bit different than the back but if you do the same then it kind of leans back a little bit there's a bunch of wheel options on here reflectors we have yes or no that's just gonna be a couple little lights on the very back looks like you can hook this up multiple different ones together that's kind of cool and we could change the colors now i like the colors that are on here already i think it looks nice and old but you could change those up uh, and i think we've got some appropriate ones here so we got the frame let's see if i can make one like i would more modern design well brown is brown there and then rim colors uh we'll go with a a black you know what red there you go this next one's very interesting the large old barn it is stupid massive i mean it is huge it takes up almost well not a quarter of my testing area but it's very large we'll go ahead and open some doors here and poke our head in you would see this go oh it was hold like a thousand cows no at 100 uh, 108 total uh, no more than that four hundred thousand dollars so a lot of money um let's see if i can get anything to pop up on the bottom right there we go so um food only eighty thousand liters milks 120 straws only 50 uh slurry 150 and manure is 80 now the good thing is this does uh does get its manure so that is nice got a little hairy rayer this is like a youtube studio background or something <laughs> i like that it's pretty cool and then of course we have some doors through here where we can go oh it's a little bit is that if yeah this doesn't even have any collisions on it all right well it is what it is uh we've got a nice workshop i mean there's some cool cool bits and bobs to this but it is very expensive and doesn't really hold a lot so this is cool for 
Is that open? Probably does. Uh, this is very, very cool for realistic gameplay and things like that. Uh, however, if you want a bunch of cows and you want them to make what you want them to make, this probably isn't the one to go for. Second new one for all platforms, second new placeable anyway, is the barn with cow shed. Now this holds even less, it will hold 30 cows and they are static. So if you like static cows, well, here you go. I know some people do, some people don't. I'm on the, uh, the opposite end. That is a flat rear end. <laughs> uh, nobody clipped that. We do have, of course, our shed right here. And then we have an area over it. So you guys can drop down the bells to feed them. Stuff like that, which is kind of cool. And something you would honestly expect with this. Then we have a whole nother area down here on the far side, which looks really good. It's almost like they built this on later on if this was in real life of course it kind of looks a little bit different similar very similar the inside's a little bit different i like this this is kind of cool it just doesn't hold enough cows for all platforms day is old barn it's uh it's old it's barn and looks very good i like the door uh door textures those look fantastic and it's a drive-through area as well not quite sure what you would put in here in uh farming simulator but hey here you go the new holland sp 400 f and it is super super similar to a mod that we got a couple weeks ago the new holland sp dot 400 f uh two different monitors uh this actually has a couple more different color options so uh we'll talk about it so this came out a couple weeks after plenty of time to see the mod and then upload it with a few extra changes engine options uh we've got engine options but it actually doesn't change anything so good luck through there wheel brands we have trailer board continental michelin midas and back in again and then decals you can do white black none capacity throw in an additional tank which uh, looks very out of place kind of neat but it's very out of place on this and then we have main color and rim color now you may look at these and say oh very cool we have main color and rim color for those things well that was the last update that we got to the sp.400f which has been out for a long time and it's gone through two different updates we've got a couple different setups for your beacons your decoration line and then we have not only main color more uh, main colors we also have a base color as well and rim colors again all of which uh, are basically identical um, but there's more of them to this so just saying it seems weird that something like this with two or three extra changes to the exact same model would come out eh, perfectly timed jumping over to some mod updates for all platforms first one's the agco ideal 2017 2023 pack version 1101 Fix the pipe effect. Next, we have the Clausarian 3000 series. This is version 1.1, added IC and guidance steering support. Big update for the first time in the Mahindra 86110. This is version 1.1, added new no cab version. Version without cab, compatible with the Kubota DLC passenger support. Added new varied wheel options. Added mirror animation. Added new design color and wheel combinations. Added flags of Brazil, Rio Grande do Sol, Santa Catarina. Paranya, USA, Germany, France, and Argentina. I know those. <laughs> also approved the internal camera, viewing angle, added new design options, added rear whistle option. What? And added a gyroflex option. <laughs> What is the? This isn't a tractor anymore. It's a spaceship. We've also got a good update. BC Bueller's Volvo WIA version 1001. Fixed for the truck not steering with some truck trailer combinations. Next update is for the Unia pack. This is going to be version 1.1. They've added the uh, PZP525. Add a disc roller. Add a decals normal. Add a depth adjustment to the 230 and 330. Add an adjustment of traversing leveling of plows. Add a detacher configuration for better longitude no leveling love that word new normal and v mass for the spike roller and minor fixes and improvements a big update for the lizard mega roll 2430 multi-roller from mac trucker 921 it's version 1001 increase the friction of the rear tires to fix the issue of the roller swinging out widely on sharp turns actually the one base game does this if you go too fast they've also increased the friction for the rollers which was causing the issue of the rollers would not spin while driving and lowered on uneven terrain and added many new color choices this thing is epic, and if you guys want to use a roller, 
get this one. Next update was going to be for the Clank 900 for Sugarcane and Poplar version 101. Uh, two, two many zeros there. Added the base header with color choice, fixed smaller errors. Cool update. Next up, the Bell Bunker Storage Pack version 101. Added a potato bunker and added a silage bunker. Very cool. Nice storage options. And of course, we've got a bunch of map updates today, starting with East Vineland, New Jersey for Mac Trucker 921. 1301. Fix road textures. Fix the road sign by Field 41 that was not staying in place. Increase the yields of clover and alfalfa. Fix the issue that the BGA was not able to be bought and silage was not able to be sold as a result. Fix the issue that the liquid manure purchase point triggers would not recognize trailers to be filled and edited and rearranged the changelog to be easier to reference. And yes, they did. Look at this changelog. They've got like these little areas in between, kind of like I do in, uh, in like the farm some news script. You guys don't see it, but uh, I do this to help me differentiate between topics and they've done this. That's so cool. Mac also updated Eastern North Carolina to version 1203. Fixed the issue that the BGA was not able to be bought and silage was not able to be sold. Increased the yield of clover and alfalfa. Fixed the issue that the liquid manure purchase points would not recognize trailers to be filled and edited and rearranged changelog to be easier to reference. So very similar changelog there. Next is Bellum Road Dairy Farming version 111. One, remove the outer map border to stop crashing issues on first generation consoles, or uh, they say first generation that is going to be PS4 and Xbox One. They also lowered the clip distance on several items in and around the cattle sheds to reduce lag, add a rolling door into the milking parlor, change the food intake for cattle. Cattle can now be fed silage and grass. Fed uh, cows have a better yield, resulting in milking reasons. And new save game is not required for the rolling door to show in game. Uh, then a new save game is required. There you go. We've also got quite a substantial update to new mini brun. This is version 104. The new save game is not mandatory for it though, so that is good. We've got fixed growth for spruces. Fix the shop name of Deadwood Spruces. Renewed, re renewed Deadwood Spruces? Okay, uh, added deadwood pines, added chimney smoke to some buildings, extended the spawn area for warehouses, adjusted the height of bills to be stored in both warehouses, restored missions or missing decoration objects at the pond, fixed the incorrect viewing distances, minor optical adjustments, placed more fences at the fields of paths, and increased description version. Next, we have Glenn Leith, and this is version 1.1. A new save game will be required for this, so heads up there. Will they fix the shed on the Southwest Farm so that you can sell them? Fix the chicken pen and shed on the Northeast Farm so they can be sold. Move the horse pen slightly further back on the main farm to give a little bit more room. Reduce the animal feed in all barns. Still Maze Plus compatible, but significantly lower capacities. ABC XML file now reads from the base game and the Southwest Karma 16 now in correct location. Quick update for Herman Spalder. This is version 1.1. Curbs and hedges can now be sold. Remove the sign from farm number one. A pickup is now purchased and no longer rented. A new save game is only needed if you want to sell hedges and curbs. And your last one for all platforms today, La Cornella version 1.2. Adjusted the visibility of the buildings, the decoration objects of all the factories already installed on the map. Some minor changes to the terrain. Sell prices of some products were adjusted. New products, Parmesan cheese and add a new factory for the production of said Parmesan cheese. Jumping over to new ones for PC and Mac players. First was the Matiba RMDB pack. Now we actually have two trailers in here, whereas the crossplay version only had one trailer. Maybe we'll get the second one at a later date. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I think we're going to see the same things here. Yeah, 15,800 bell trailer will set up standard and wine tires. Spare wheel, yes or no. So pretty much the only difference you're going to see here is logo on the very side but we've also got this guy as well 28,000 23,000 or bell trailer as a super cool looking bell trailer um it's also a super cool looking trailer altogether wheel setups with standard ones and twos and then we have that spare wheel on the front same thing there very cool trailer i love this and your only other new one for pc and mac players today is the stego 285 and 485 and if you guessed it yes uh, um five meters and three meters <laughs> so there you go, we're 285 and 485. Uh, these are just uh, your rollers at the end of the day, silo compaction, things like that. Uh, we do have a different brands though, Hilaris and Sapphire. I do like Sapphire. And then you could throw in some additional weights and you could change the color 
of said additional weights and you could do that for both of these which is super duper cool let's make our way over to some mod updates for pc and mac players now as the last section of the video zeter ur2 pack version 1.1 added new models the 8111 8145 12111 and the 12145 they've also improved the wom whatever wom is uh, fix the bugs with textures improved the gearbox corrected configurations improved the ai and foliage bending improved fuel consumption corrected rear mud flaps improved the gearbox lever animation fix sticker configurations improved the rim textures new models of interior internal rims rather <sighs> Improve the driver's seat animation, new lighting options, improve the grill and lights model, improve the fit of the tires, rims, hubs, and wheel weights, new steering wheel texture, improve the angle of the rotation and of the steering wheel, improve the fender lights, fix the tire off tracks, and added fender animations. I messed up quite a few of those, but you know what? Let's go fast. Next is going to be an update to course play, and this is a big changelog. So 7.3, build collector and wrapper now works the same way as the combine unloader in terms of markers. The field position is now saved into the vehicle and will not be reset to the vehicle position when started by the HUD. The position has to be set every time in the AI menu. The fixes problems with the AD restarting and also has the advantage that you don't need another AD target on the field to start the driver. Ooh, a little bit further down there. Let's just scoop, scoop, scoop. There we go. They've added the loader driver for vehicles like the Ropa Mouse to pick up heads, for example, sugar beets, and to empty bunker silos. The loader can always work together with a combine unloader. And uh, so I switched combine on the HUD to loader. The rest is the same when picking up heaps on a field. Using an unloader when emptying a bunker silo can be tricky due to the silo walls. Try at your own risk. The loader will unfold in a default position when it reaches the heap. If the default position is not working for you, then unfold it and move the conveyor to the left or right position and a height you want before you start. It will maintain that position. Told you a big update. Let's keep going down just a little bit more. Oh, we have got a lot more to go. Added unloading and field option for combine unloader. Use the target icon to get into the AI menu. At the bottom, there's a new option, unload on field. That have to be activated and a target set on or within 20 meters of the field where you want to unload on. The decoration, or direction rather, is in which direction the heap will grow. Oh, goodness gracious. They've also added a new feature where the combine automatically can pick up the header from an attached trailer. A new setting must be activated in the vehicle settings page under the combine setting for this to work. And the combine must be towing a header either with its own wheels or on a trailer. The combine will then automatically pick up the header when the player starts the harvest near a field or sends the harvester to a field with giants or auto drive helper. Remember the combine needs enough space to park the trailer, pick up the header, reverse and then drive to the field work course and lastly we have added a proper offset setting to the hud for bell collecting rat mode add a global setting for the fruit destruction of helpers off course play only all helpers they've also added a countdown for bells to collect and wrap note that the new bells produced on the same field will not update the counter immediately for performance reasons they've added a pause button for recording field boundary help menu has been updated remove the most default debugs uh, so they say keep some info prints for now increase the mod description version to 76 or giants version 1.11 or higher a new website with an exact copy of the in-game help course play website for a complete change log is it the release page on GitHub? That wasn't the whole thing? Oh, oh goodness. This change log is a little bit smaller. A dashboard live version 1.2 added mini map integration, added page groups to be able to scroll pages on multiple uh, terminals. They do say important vehicles must be prepared for dashboard live in advance to use the features and displays. It's the Lacia guide and documentation are included. Video tutorials are also available for their ideas or requests are welcome at the GitHub FS22 dashboard live. And your last mod today, goodness gracious reduced engine braking force version 1003 added comments in the script lua boom well guys that is it for today hope you enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you did subscribe if you do join the go ahead fam double check those notification bells as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel speaking of those daily videos uh patch 1.12 surprisingly came out this morning we talked about all the changes for that earlier and farm some news is already out as well the uh testing list was released as soon as that was so check the community post for that otherwise have a great day we'll see you guys later